Phillips, yes, live in Birmingham, live in Birmingham. Um, Birmingham was described recently on Fox News, the reputable news source that is Fox News, as 100% Muslim. <laughs> Salam alaikum. <laughs> alaikum salam is what you say back. Don't worry, we'll work it out. It's interesting, that because I was in the Middle East when that news came out. I was doing shows. I was in Abu Dhabi, Doha, and Dubai. Friends of mine told me not to go to the Middle East because they said that they don't like, and I quote, my lot, is what they said. <laughs> Not sure what they mean by my lot, presumably fly fishers. <laughs> they, um, they jail homosexuals in those countries. Not sure of the logic of that one, really. Oh, you like men? We'll put you in a box with some. Not a punishment. <laughs> Come on, try harder, lads. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that they stoned gays to death out there, but it's just that gays can't catch. Structurally, a very good joke, that, but it's on the edge. I agree. Now... 100% Muslim. I said 100% Muslim. There's a sort of truth in it. There's a lot of Muslims in Birmingham. A lot of all cultures there. We're known for being multicultural. Quite good at it, really. Our next-door neighbours are Muslim. Saj, he's a lovely guy. Loves a fucking power tool on a Sunday, but he's a lovely guy. <laughs> Shut up, Saj! One of the most famous Muslims in Birmingham is Malala Yousafzai. I don't know if people are familiar with her. If you don't, she's brilliant. She's an 18-year-old schoolgirl who was shot at by the Taliban for wanting to be educated. She now goes to Edgebaston High School for Girls. It's a private school. I don't think she pays the fees. <laughs> I personally would hate to go to school with Malala Yousafzai. Can you imagine show and tell day with Malala, where they're like, OK, class, what have you brought in? Um, Sally, let's start with you. And Sally goes, I've brought in this papay mache cat. <laughs> then, uh, OK, anyone else bring anything? Malala, did you bring anything in? This Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Sally, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I'd hate to be a teacher as well. You want me to tell Malala off for anything? What are you doing on your phone, Malala? Texting Barack Obama, actually, so... <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Sally, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Poor Sally, just made her up. Um, no, I was annoyed about that. I was annoyed when that news came out. I'm annoyed with Donald Trump as well. Little side project I've got going on. I'm trying to book Syrian refugees into Donald Trump's hotels. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, Okay, it's going okay. I was annoyed when, yeah, when Fox News said they were 100% Muslim because there's a subtext to that. When they say we're 100% Muslim, what they're saying there is that we should be worried about that. There's something terrifying, frightening about Muslims. I think we've got a problem. I think we're using the word Muslim far too quickly to describe people doing atrocities when they don't represent Muslims any more than I do. And I think we should be using a more accurate word for those people, which I'm going to argue is knobhead. <laughs> There'd be levels of knobhead. You'd have a moderate knobhead, all the way up to fundamental knobhead. <laughs> and if we all did it, if we all did it, the news would have to catch up. They'd have to go, today, two knobheads bombed a car. They'd have to do it if we all did it. <laughs> and it wouldn't necessarily be to do with just terrorist activity. Any knobheady activity would get the knobhead word. I've thought of some. Um, people that wear a festival wristband after a festival. <laughs> I went to Reading. It's November, you're in a Costa. You're a knobhead. <laughs> Couples that put a lock on a bridge, you're both knobheads. Sorry. <laughs> Hate that. Hate it. Um, sanctimonious mothers. I've got to be careful here. I don't mean all mothers. Just a lot of my friends are having children at the minute. And it's the sort of mothers that go, don't tell me how to raise my kids. And you're like, OK, but... She is trying to eat a petit velu with an electric razor, so... <laughs> You're a bit of a knobhead, aren't you? Ever so slightly. <laughs> Amanda Holden, fundamental knobhead. I just don't like it. <laughs> don't, don't encourage me, because I'm sure she's lovely. I just... I think she's despicable. <laughs> she did to our Les. Um, <laughs> Still holding on to that after 10 years. 